Hey guys, it's Bruno here, and I'm here with Chris and Deb. They're the proud owners of this incredible <laughs> MT1 camper trail, and as I'm sure you can see from there, it's an amazing setup that is completely set up to just tow and go anywhere. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Oh, Pleasure. great, Bruno. Great to see you. Great to come yeah. out on a beautiful day like this. How good <laughs> is it? And what a spot you guys have here. Yeah, it's pretty oh, yeah. awesome. <laughs> so, guys, tell us, your MT1, loving it. Oh, so do we. We absolutely, yeah, absolutely love it. Um, I thought we'll, we'll give a little story on how we came about it. I was on, on night shift and I was just flicking through YouTube, you know, as you do. Because, look, I'm a non-camper. You know, I would go and book people's holiday houses. So, anyway, look, looking through there, I went, oh, I saw the videos on the MT1 and went, this is it. This looks fantastic. And I knew Chris, he'd always want to go camping and, you know, he hasn't been. So uh, I showed him out and he says, yeah, yeah, I've seen it. I said, well, why don't you tell me about it, you know? Because <laughs> the only time I'm going to go camping is if it's a rooftop tent. And the fact that it's on the trailer is fantastic. It's yeah. just not, Yeah, not exactly. having to set it up on a car and, and everything's there. And the little, you know, some little luxuries and, and more luxuries that Chris wanted. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I, I'm not into roughing it. Like I always say to people, I'm not Malcolm Douglas. Like I, yeah. I like... Camping's holidays for me, so I like being like comfy when I go camping. Yeah, yeah it's it just true, makes yeah. it so it makes it so much more enjoyable. It you does. Know? It does. Yeah. So you obviously like um, optioned up a fair few things: the rooftop tent, the Grand Tour, got all yeah. the good bits and pieces. But you've gone and taken it to the next level with your own setup. I love. Yeah. Tell me about the rooftop tent setup you got going. Yeah, so we did the couples touring pack. Yep. So it was it had pretty much everything we wanted. Uh, so a little, few little upgrades with that was the 100, two 138 amp hour batteries, yep. just give it a bit extra capacity. But then uh, as we've been using it, discovering that some things are better, like the rooftop tent we just flipped around, so climb up over the drawbar now. So it's instant setup. Don't have to worry about the ladder. The benefit was we can then put an awning out the side, uh, and you know use both sides. So we were uh, camping. Like Last week down at Bermagui, and this side uh, sort of you know face a different area. The other side was a better view, but we needed orientated obviously for the sun. Uh, and having that awning because it was the first time we'd used it, it was brilliant. I love how neat that redraw <laughs> setup is. <laughs> That's probably the favourite part I've seen so far. Oh, de definitely. We just loved the the King's clear bags. We sort of have our you know a couple of bags each um, for our clothes, and the drawer is just brilliant. That huge storage area is awesome. Like oh. uh, in the back of it, we got a couple of the King's um, 45 litre boxes. Yep. So we've got two of those, one with tools and one with cooking gear and stuff. And then um, got the hot water system in there. But we've got the dog swag, of course. So our dog, oh, little uh, water collie yep. cross the Kelpie, yep. he, uh, portable fire pit and all that sort of stuff fits in the back. Just having that room that we can fold it up, chuck it in there. Um, but love the, the fridge freezer set up. It slides a long way out. It does, yeah. Um, which is great because you've got a great working area. We like the portable sink because then you can fill it up and then when you're empty, just empty it away from the campsite so it keeps it nice and dry. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The kitchen setup is great for lunch stops. So if you just lunch stop, you don't want, need to put the awning out at the time, you just want to open the door. So we're up at uh, Hill End. So it was a bit of rain and showers coming through, everyone else is running for cover. We just open the side door, slide the fridge out and the uh, drawer down and yep, made our lunch and all, all the plumbed water and everything else too makes it easy yeah. and we've got a hot water system so a uh, hot water system mounts on the front of the toolbox mm -hmm. so we just set that up when we're camping as well and gives us instant hot water and showers as well so make it nice and comfortable um so we've done a, a couple of our little things mm. um yeah we put a little um a little rain guard just on the back yeah uh, Great because, idea. because we're using that drawer a lot mm -hmm. Um, um, yeah, wide up all the lights, so it's got King's lights all through it, all wired back into the battery system. Yep. And also just recently set up a set of rock lights. Ah, so yep. when the doors are down, the rock lights shine across everything, mm -hmm. so when you're setting up it's great. Yep. But um, we used it down at uh, Bermagui, where mm -hmm. she had the awnings up like this and the rock lights actually shone onto the awnings. Oh, perfect. So it just gives them ambient light yeah. and that's yeah. what the uh, rock lights been able to do, the orange and white. Yeah. It just depends on what you need. Yep. And how yeah. do you guys find that it tows when you're out travelling? It's just so simple and easy to hook up. Like, we've got a station wagon, so Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, it's running to and from work, clocking up the Ks. But when I go on the way on the weekend, it's all loaded up. Literally just chuck some food in it, chuck a cup of clothes, and we hook up and go. Yeah. Um, it's so easy to tow. It tows beautifully, and the best thing is so manoeuvrable. Uh, like, we're up at Safala, and we're driving in amongst some trees where you barely get the car through, and the MT1 just followed it beautifully, and just that perfect width that you can see behind it. Um, it tracks beautifully and nice and stable on the road, the brakes work well, um, yeah, makes it easy. And you go, and you know, there is a fair bit of height to it, so it doesn't really put that much, you know, additional fuel, fuel yeah, load so on it. Yeah, so about two litres per 100 kilometres extra, that's about it. 
guys, any thoughts or any advice for anyone looking at one of these? Anything you can recommend or any th things to consider for someone looking at one of these? Well, setups? first of all, buy it. <laughs> just, just do it. You know, life's too short. It's great too. There, um, you know, there's a the Facebook site for um, yeah owners. Yeah, owners. The owners group is awesome, and people have different ideas, and everyone looks at different ideas, and then either uses it or tweaks it something different. Yeah. And you go, oh, I never thought of that until you see it, and you go, Oh yeah, that actually works. Yeah, so <laughs> that that is brilliant. You know, for any, for anyone wanting to buy one, it's just that that empty one community, shall we say. It's just brilliant. Yeah. Mm. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time. No, really it's a enjoyed um, chatting to you guys. I think the only thing we need to do now is probably just um, kick back and take this amazing view in. Absolutely. Why not? Let's enjoy it. <laughs> Beautiful day. Thanks, Breno. <laughs> Thanks so much, Breno.